Hey guys, so I did some work to my house during the middle of last year and I thought I'd share with you how I went from this to this. So I hope you enjoy watching and find it interesting and I'll speak to you throughout this video. So the first bit of work that I did was uh, new windows. So I got double glaze windows in anthracite grey. Um, I really like this colour, I had seen it be used a lot on Instagram as well as YouTube and I thought it would go well with the white rendering I was planning to do. So previously I had single glaze sash windows, so it's like a historical kind of um, design that people used to use in I think it's like Victorian times. Um, they're actually quite expensive to make now, however I just didn't like the fact that they were single glazed and so I went to double glaze and put in. You can see that I'm doing it throughout the house, so not just downstairs, all the windows in the house were being changed to this anthracite grey colour on the outside and then the inside would be white. So the glass is now in. So this is what the windows looked like once they had finished installing them. They used grey sealant around the edges. Um, I didn't mind that it wasn't the neatest because I was planning to render the front. So not this company but I got a different builder to render the front which you'll see later on in this video. But yep, I was happy with the colour and the way they looked. So it looks good, I think. I use the company called Lakeside Double Glazing, they're based in Ilford. I would recommend them, my sister has also used them after me so I would say they are pretty good. Uh, let's talk about costing, I had 7 windows in my house and that cost me £2,300 I believe it was and that's partly because obviously I've got the coloured outside and the white on the inside. That does make it a bit more expensive. Okay, so today I am getting bricks. So I have a hookup. Shout out to my hookup, I don't want to bake them out, but getting free bricks. Do you have a bit? So I'm gonna take this, hire this van, and then take the bricks back to my house in this, and then that's how my porch is going to be built. Funny story, so I obviously spent money hiring this van and then I didn't use these bricks. Basically the builder that I got said that they couldn't use these bricks because they needed concrete bricks in order to build the porch and so in the end I put these bricks on Gumtree and allowed people to basically just come and take them because I didn't have time to sell them and they were taking up space in my front garden. So yeah, I didn't use them. The gas meter. Now this was probably the most painful part of the process. So my gas meter was right next to the front door which was preventing builders from building the porch there right so I had to get it moved. Um, the only people who can move this is National Grid and National Grid charged me £1,600 to move this gas meter. At first I considered not even building the porch anymore but I did it in the end. Painful but I'm happy now so it's fine. So the builders that I used charged £2,000 to build the porch. Um, I paid for the materials though, I bought those from Wix. And to be honest, we kept having to go back to Wix, so I'm not sure how much I spent on the materials, but I think it was under 500 don't quote me. I swear to you, I took so many L's in this process. So basically they started building the porch and I showed them the door that I bought, right? I bought a composite front door just because it was recommended by a lot of people and yeah, I just ended up doing it in the end. So this is the front door that I got, but then they told me it was very complicated to fit and they couldn't fit it. So then I had to pay somebody else to come and fit the door. 
but I made them deduct it from the cost of them building the porch because their agreement was that they would fit the door in the beginning. So this is somebody else now fitting the door. So funny story, on Wix's website, this door is 750 pounds. However, they named the manufacturer um, of the door on the website, it's, their name is Euromax. So I went on Euromax's website and the door was 568 pounds. So I ordered it from there instead. And lastly, we have rendering. So rendering is kind of the process of smoothing out the front of the house. It's like external plastering, basically. Uh, the labour cost me around £700. I bought the materials. I bought the materials from somewhere called uh, Builders Depot, Depot. Uh, that cost around £600 in materials, but I actually overbought materials, so it would have been less than that, or it should have been less than that. Uh, I like the finished product, so I know it was a bit expensive, guys, but it's worth it. And uh, this is me painting the inside because there was no way I was paying anyone any more money to do anything. So I painted this all by myself, it's not the best paint job but I feel like it's decent so now all I've got to do is take off the plastic from around the door and around the window and yeah that's it. In case anyone was wondering, I didn't have to get planning permission for this because it's less than a three metre extension. So yeah, I didn't have to go to my council to ask for permission or get any architects or anything like that for this. So I'm going to the dump in my car and yeah, this is all the rubbish that I'm taking to the dump. It's mad. When you get builders, make sure that you agree with them to take their rubbish because they just made a mess in front of my house and now I have to clear it up. Not fun. I'm really pleased with the finished product. I love the grey against the white. It's basically what I envisioned, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, I got a video doorbell from eBay. It's not the ring, it's much cheaper. It's like £40, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions about the refurb do leave them below and I'll be happy to answer. Thanks!